Robert Green here. We're the number one installers of Airgreed. Today's topic is about, uh, well, let's take a look here. Holy Jesus, a mouse! So what does a salt shaker and a mouse have to do with Airgreed? Well, that's our pest control. I'm going to use this salt to demonstrate what happens to a mouse. Obviously, I can't use a real mouse. We'll get a whole bunch of animal activists coming after me. They go like this. What do you think a mouse will do? It's probably going to run away. And the reason for that is it's going to get in his eyes. See? Just going to get all over him. And of course, he doesn't like that. He's going to shake it off and run away. Stupid table. Now that I've got the table more stable here, when this is not only his eyes, because you can just always close your eyes, but he has a very soft nose. They got soft paws, and you know, pretty much anything that's pink on this thing is very tender to the mouse. So a mouse isn't even gonna wanna walk across salt, let alone live in it. But we don't typically use this amount of salt. We use that much. I mean, a mouse could probably walk across salt. In fact, it would probably eat the <laughs> out of it. So I'm going to have to explain this a little bit more. Actually, that's looking pretty good right there. Mm. This is the worst part to a mouse. The salt was a great way to help you guys imagine what it would be like to get salt in your eyes. If you have trouble imagining what that feels like, don't let me stop you. But the cements actually, if you've ever really worked with a Portland cement, you'll know it really dries your hands. You gotta sometimes wear gloves if you're really sensitive to the stuff. And for a mouse who has really sensitive nose and feet, a cement like this is horrible. Need some additional help visualizing? I got a piece of aircrete right here. And our mouse is gonna try to dig through this stuff. And as you can see, his face is covered in it. It becomes a powder when they start breaking it up. And that powder is really irritating to their eyes and they're simply not gonna want to go through it. Now a mouse can go through any insulation out there. In fact, under the right conditions, a mouse can pretty much go through anything. Let me demonstrate. Huh? Where'd he go? Oh wow, he ate through solid sheet metal? I hope you enjoyed this video about why Aircrete is called rodent resistant. If you have anything to add, leave it in the comments. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, if you want to see future content, I plan on making plenty of visual aids and demonstrations on the Aircrete product. I don't want to just talk about it, I want to get hands on, show little demonstrations. At least that's the intent. I got some videos planned in the future here. So subscribe, you'll see those videos very shortly. I'm getting around to making them right now. Yeah, I'll just play the audio, but I'm gonna say it anyway. But we don't. The mouse! <laughs> we use that much. Hold on the mouse.